Welcome friends. So today I'm going to be sharing five tips with you about how you can get fit before Christmas without even taking a look at a gym. Apart from the fact quite a few of our gym, blah, 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 gyms are closed at the moment and if you're anything like us over here we are mandated to be at home too. So the tips I'm going to give you are super easy. There's just five of them and they are going to help you get fit without even having to take a step into a gym before Christmas. So first and foremost, it's about changing what you prioritize. Um, I know it's so easy to say, I'm gonna start the workouts on Monday, I'll start on tomorrow. Hey, Sunita, lovely to see you. Hey there, Lucy. Um, so easy to say, I'm gonna do it tomorrow, and then tomorrow never comes, and it's the same old, same old, same old, same old. It really takes a, a willingness to use exercise as a commitment so you're prioritizing it on your to-do list so not on your might do list you need to put it on your to-do list and you need to commit to it so today if if you're watching this and you think right I'm actually going to do this before Christmas because it's totally doable it's amazing what you can achieve in four weeks and we've got about four weeks before hit, uh, Christmas hits us so um most people in my online uh, fit club, and I'm, I'm not talking about that, but just to give you an idea, they lose between 8 and 15 pounds in three weeks. So if weight loss is a goal of yours, if just getting fit and, you know, a bit more sculpted is a, way, is a goal of yours, then you can totally achieve that in just a few weeks. So, uh, hey Lucy, lovely to see you. Um, so first and foremost, I want you to commit to it. You've just got to say, yep, yeah, it's going to happen. I'm going to put my workout clothes on the far end of my bedroom near my alarm clock tonight so that when my alarm goes off in the morning I'm going to put my workout clothes on and I'm going to get it done. That is one way of doing it. Easy ways also are we've also got to go to the shops, we've got to go and do our grocery shopping so just park your car further away from the storefront. I know, well why do we do it? We all think oh there's a space just there and I'll squeeze in and breathe in everyone and there's a space like just a few spaces a few sort of cars down, but it's just a little bit further from the store, store door. Why do we do that? Just drive in, park at the far end and walk to the shop. It's going to make a big difference when you accumulate that on a daily basis. It will help you get fitter and it'll also help improve your uh, aerobic capacity, particularly if you have a trolley laden heavily like mine. And by the time you've managed to push it up the adverse camber of the car park of the shopping supermarket, you'll be really puffing for breath. Um, the other thing is take the stairs. Don't take lifts or use the escalators, use the stairs. Our legs need to be used. Um, okay, if you've got a push chair, yes, it's slightly more tricky. But other than that, if, you're, if it's just you and you've got bags, use your legs, use the stairs. Uh, that is like my first tip. So just get moving overall and commit to adding a little bit of extra movement to your day. Um, if you've got a Garmin watch or a an Apple watch or a Fitbit, you know, most of the sort of new fangled digital watches these days have trackers on them. So track your steps. But one of my tips is to instead of aim for 10,000 steps, which is like the, the general norm, aim for about eight and a half thousand. It's easier to achieve. And when you get to bed thinking, yeah, I did it, then it just encourages you to, to go for that goal again the next day and the next day and the next day. When your goal is something that you're unlikely to achieve, you end up going to bed and you just think, oh, bloody didn't do it again. And you eventually you'll just ignore it. You'll, you'll, you'll phase it out. It's, it's what we all do when something is unpleasant or something we're not getting the, the reward from it that we hope to get. Eventually you just kind of, your, your conscious mind parks it away. So keep it an achievable step. If you can't manage eight and a half thousand, aim for something like 6,000, which isn't that hard to achieve, but, you know, especially if you've got a dog, um, but, you know, have, have sort of create more bite-sized goals that will be easy for you to, to, to achieve, and if you can do your 10,000 steps, then brilliant, but, you know, set your goal at something that you know that you can achieve, so you can celebrate it, and then you can build upon that. Also, you know, if you're new to this sort of whole idea of getting fit, fitter and healthier, 10,000 steps can be quite daunting, particularly if you work in an office job, you have sat at your desk a lot during the day. I spend a lot of hours sat down at my laptop, believe it or not, and I would be hard pushed to do 10,000 steps every day. I do take the dogs for a daily walk, 
but I do do my daily workout and, and I rely upon that to sort of help keep me healthy and fit um, because it's probably rare that I actually walk 10,000 steps a day. So keep it manageable so that you don't feel disheartened uh, when you don't achieve, or, you know, if you can't achieve 10,000 steps. The other thing is drink lots of water. Keep drinking plenty of water. Um, if you're not sure how much you should be drinking, um, you need to weigh your body in pounds and then you divide that by two and that's the amount of fluid ounces you should be drinking. So for instance, if you weigh 140 pounds, you should be drinking 70 fluid ounces of water every day. If you live in a very hot climate or a very cold climate then you need to be drinking more if you're menopausal and having a lot of hot flashes or flushes again you'll need to be drinking more um, if you have a very strenuous job you need to be drinking more as well but you know water is essential obviously as part of our sort of cellular health but it's also really really important to help you detox the body when the body's under a lot of if you've got a lot of sort of toxins in your in your body it's, it's incredibly difficult to get a really toxined body healthy and fit quickly. So extra water is going to help you just cleanse the sort of the, the gunk out that might be in there. And it'll you'll you'll find that the results will come faster and you'll also feel a lot, lot better. Also, by the time you've sort of walked to and from the toilet, it's also going to improve the number on your pedometer. So that's something else to bear in mind. Change things up. That's, this is really important because I know a lot of people do uh, workouts at home. You might have your own fitness regime. Like me, I, I, I follow workouts online. Make sure you're constantly changing your workouts up because when you get comfortable with the workout, that's when you really need to be moving on to something different. Um, I don't, I'm not a great fan of cardio, but I make sure I do cardio based workouts in, in amongst my weight training or sort of more weight training workouts because it's really, it sort of pushes me further. And I do notice an improvement. Um, I'm always pleased when I get to the end of them, but I also feel incredible. So make sure you're constantly changing it up. Um, if you need um, sort of inspiration for workouts that you can do at home, or you can also stream them in the gym, but of course a lot of gyms are shut at the moment. Um, I've got a 14 day free trial, which gives you access to all the workouts that I do on a daily basis. They are amazing. And if you want to get the 14 day free trial, either click the link in my link in my Instagram bio, the link tree link, or click, I pop the, um, uh, the link in the comments below, click that and that will take you through to the form. And it's just a matter of putting in your details so that I know who I'm sending the 14 day free trial to. But you don't, you don't just get workouts. Also, you get lots of nutritional information. You get support in my uh, Fittish Fit Club for 14 days. We really will look after you and, and help you embrace and get the most out of the workouts. If you want to do that, just click the link in my link tree or the uh, in the comments below this. And then finally, you know, you could always do like a few challenges at home. So things like you can start a push-up challenge. If you're brand new to push-ups, personally, I hate push-ups, but I do do them. Um, if you find like to do a proper push-up on the floor is too tough, you can either drop to your knees and just push up from the floor with your knees on the ground to give you some extra support. Or if you're really new to them and you're new to fitness, use the wall or a, or a countertop as your sort of, area to push up from and you'll find that by gradually sort of building up the reps that you do you'll be able to move from the wall to the counter the counter to your knees and then from your knees to a push up another thing you can do is the plank you can either do plank on your elbows uh, you know on, on your forearms rather you can do your plank on with your hand your arms straight and hands on the floor um planks of rip they are absolutely awesome for all over body toning because they're doing your shoulders your arms your chest your back your glutes your legs so you know maybe aim for 20 you know try and aim for an extra five seconds each day longer and you will find you know if you can just do 20 second plank now in a couple of days you'll find 25 25 seconds much more manageable if you can do something like a three minute plank or maybe do a minute of a plank and then 10 press ups a minute of a plank and 10 press ups and you, you know just add a little bit extra to it that way and then things like just sitting down in a chair instead of just sitting down it's before you sit down do five or ten slow sit downs and get get you know get back up so you're working your uh, quadriceps your thigh muscles also working your core, make sure you hold your tummy in nice and strong when you're doing it and just get, lower yourself down really slowly. And then when you stand up, make sure you tighten up your bum muscles so it sort of pushes your pelvis foot uh, forward. 
but that will help engage the glutes. Often, if you have been, if you sort of have a very sedentary job or you don't act, actively work those muscle groups, the gluteal muscles, so our bum muscles, actually don't fire properly. We tend to overcompensate with other muscles of the body and the gluteals become can become really sort of atrophied and underused. So by squeezing your bum muscles when you get to the top of your standing position you'll find that you're sort of you're firing them up again and it might feel a little bit strange to begin with you may even feel a little bit of sort of moving around in your sort of the back of your pelvic area the sacroiliac joints don't let that put you off it's it's because you're not using those muscles very often that it, it needs to strengthen that entire area up so you know things like push-ups off the wall plank sitting up and down off your chair or even just doing some lunge, you know um squats or lunges while you wait for the kettle to boil how many of us just stand there waiting you could do 5 10 15 lunges or squats in that mo in that time and that is really going to make a big big difference to your overall health if you can do a combination of plank and push-ups and squats and lunges you do a lunge just one thing and also actually with squats to make sure you keep your hips rotated back you never want your kneecap to be pushing out in front of your toes because that puts too much pressure on your knees so always try and you know think about sticking your bum backwards hold your tummy in and make sure that your knees are not ju uh, jutting out in front of your toes just to protect um hey nicola comment tu vas gros bisous moi and um you just make sure that you're sort of keeping good form because it is also really, really important. You don't want to go and damage yourself. So um, just those quick tips quickly. Move more. Commit to moving more. Use the stairs. Don't use the lift. You know, park further away from the supermarket so that you've got further to walk. Drink more water. Um, have a walking goal, daily walking goal. That's a manageable daily walking goal. Change up your workouts if you already do workouts at home. Make sure that you're challenging yourself. An easy workout is not going to be an effective workout. And finally, um, what was my last one? Uh, do challenges at home yourself. So you'd add, add a few extras in. So planks, push-ups, chair thing, um, squats and lunges and things like that. If you already do like a daily workout like I do, you will not need to do those extra challenges. But if you don't want to sort of commit to a 20, 30 minute workout program daily or most days, then those are the, you know, I would suggest you incorporate some kind of exercise into your daily routine with consistency. You will get to Christmas and I promise you, you will see a difference. Absolutely 100%. And you'll not only see a difference, you will feel a difference. So if you want to get the 14 day free trial, click the link in my bio in my Instagram account or click the link in the comments below. That will take you to the form, which will get you the 14 day free trial. And um, hope you've had a great, hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you for the hearts and um, I will catch you soon.